Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The rising Russian prospect Arzlinbek Makhmadov, who fights out of Canada, has thrown down the gauntlet to Deontay Wilder, offering a $20 million purse to get the WBC champion to Canada to face him in Montreal. And I guess a lot of people may not know who Arslan Bekmakmadov is. If you follow this channel, you'll certainly will. But some people will be coming in asking, who is this guy? Well, he's a 10-0 prospect out of Russia who fights in Canada. He's a prospect on the rise. 10 fights, 10 wins, 10 knockouts, most of them rather devastating. Just dispatched a faded Samuel Peter, who for the most part has been regarded as a durable fighter in his career, took him out in a round. But is this a real offer? Is it something that could actually happen? And I guess in terms of what's being said, and I'll cover that in a second, but I'll first sort of uh, just lead into it by saying, I think there are the bones of an offer that could certainly take place. But maybe at this point in Makhmadov's career, because he's still working his way through the levels, he hasn't necessarily had some of the fights to build his profile to a certain point. Maybe it's uh, the bones of something real, but more likely this is about getting profiled, a bit of buzz, get Arslan Bek Makhmadov's name more out there, especially beyond Canada. Because for the most part, he's been fighting in obscurity in Canada. He's a guy that's got big power, 10 knockouts, and most of them are rather devastating. He's a guy with um, an offense, you would say, which is right hand dominant, big right hand, big right hand uppercut. But beyond that, he doesn't really seem to use uh, many other punches, and he really hasn't had to so far. But you can see here on screen. So this is from the Journal de Montreal, um, an offer of $20 million to Deontay Wilder. I don't speak French, can't read French. So what I'm going to do is go over to Google Translate. So it says, Arslan Buck sent a whole message. And just for context, this is after he starched Peter and under a round, took him out with a uppercut and a right hand, just wrecked him. It already been down earlier in the round. So the Eye of the Tiger management uh, spokesperson, Camille Estefan, so Eye of the Tiger management represents um, Arslan Bek Makhmadov says, I'm going to offer Wilder 20 million to come to Montreal. In fact, to the winner between Wilder and Fury in February, I'm offering him 20 million to come and fight in Montreal against Arslan Beck. The invitation is therefore launched. And then it goes on to detail about Makhmadov stopping Peter, etc. And what does uh, Makhmadov make of this? Well, he says, I don't care who my next opponent is. I will be ready to face anyone. That's my job. I always go there for the win. And asked if he cared what people might think of his impressive performance. He says, I have nothing to do with what the world thinks. I know I, what I'm capable of. I know myself. My focus is on the championships and that's all. I don't pay attention to anyone. It's not my job. My job is to box. So Aslan Bek Makhmadov and his management, Eye of the Tiger Management, making a big time offer, calling out Deontay Wilder and saying, come to Canada, come to Montreal, $20 million on the line. And I guess, how realistic could this be, even if Deontay Wilder was open to the idea of it? We know that he's uh, most likely to have a fight in February, in February 22nd, 2020. That would be a rematch with Tyson Fury. That's not completely locked in, but it's all but. So that would be next. And depending on what happens then, that's where it could get interesting because if he loses, obviously probably a trilogy fight with Tyson Fury, that will be all locked up. And if he wins... Well, it's more likely, in my view, he probably takes a voluntary defense, likely against Adam Kovnatsky. I just don't think, uh, even though people are calling for Undisputed, the timings won't line up. Because if people say Joshua should fight Wilder next, the reality is he may get stripped of a belt if he went to do that. But also the timings may not line up very well, because if that was to happen, it'd be the second half of 2020. Joshua would be waiting some considerable months before having his next fight and activity. I think that maybe played a part, you know, in some of the rust that he had on June 1st. He had nine months between his Povetkin fight and that fight against Andy Ruiz Jr. the first time around. I, th I don't think they want to have that big a gap again or anything approaching that. He needs to be fighting at least twice a year. Um, preferably, it would be three times a year, but Joshua in recent years has only fought twice. But if Wilder beats Fury, I think it's more likely Adam Kovnatsky. I think the timings for Undisputed don't work out. 
But if it were to happen, Mark Madov would need to first get into the WBC top 15 because he's not there right yet. And I think, is it only Wilder can choose from a fighter in the top 10? I, you know, I'll have to look that up, but he'd certainly need him uh, to get himself ranked, which Makhmadov is not at the moment. And this, I think for most people, they'll look at this and go, this is a hollow call out. I think the bones of something are there. I think they would love to get Deontay Wilder to Montreal for $20 million. But is it realistic to expect him to travel to Canada? He's the A side. He may actually say, look, if it was to ever happen, you need to come to me. But he needs to get in the queue. And to get in the queue, he needs to get in the top 15 to make it even more viable to actually happen. A lot of people want to face Wilder, but you need to have the right circumstances. And obviously, Obviously, a lot of money helps, but you could also ask a question. If Wilder beats Fury, is he actually worth more than $20 million for a fight? He would probably argue for a lot more. Maybe they would have to stump up more like a guaranteed $30 million to get him to Canada or something like that. But I like the idea of uh, Makhmadov calling this out with his team saying, look, let's get this done. $20 million come here and want to fight you. It shows the confidence. But let's be realistic. He's just fought Samuel Peter and also Johnny Rice earlier this year. There's, you know, he's missed a whole bunch of levels he would need to take before facing a champion. There seems to be a bit more seasoning that would need to happen before getting to that top echelon. But obviously they want to potentially cut that down and have him get into a big fight soon. And let's face it, he's a, a, a bigger fish in Canada. He's starting to outgrow that pond. It's likely Makhmadov needs to probably go further afield than Canada to progress and get to the next steps in his career. But we shall see. But it's a big call out. Obviously, some people will be skeptical. I think the bones of something are there, but Makhmadov needs to do more, needs to get ranked and maybe even more money to even get Deontay Wilder interested. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.